Hey everybody, I thought today we would make um, a whipped body butter that I'm not really sure you can call it a body butter, it's more of a cream, but anyway, let's see how we do this. We're going to need two containers, one to hold our water and one to hold our oils. And this is going to be emulsified, so we're going to be adding some ingredients in to make sure it, it all mixes up together really good. I'll give you the ingredients, but I'm not going to give out the actual recipe because it's not mine. I got this recipe from Sunshine Soap and Candle Company, and I'll link that in the description if you want to go check her out. She has a lot of great videos. So we have our water laid out. And now we're just going to put in our shea butter. And then we're going to weigh out some mango butter. I like this recipe. It's, um, it feels really good on the skin. To me, it was just a little... Um, a little sticky so I actually added some arrowroot powder to mine but that's not in the original recipe uh, but I added it to mine and I do like it better all right so we're putting our mango butter in and this is emulsifying wax and I get the majority of my ingredients I get from Brambleberry. I just, uh, I don't know, I like the quality of their ingredients. And that is stearic acid. I don't think I got that from Brambleberry. I'll have to look and see where I got that. And I'll put that in the description. But we have all that weighed out in one container. Uh, microwave proof. We are going to be microwaving this to melt everything down. And I melt it down in I don't know, like one minute bursts until it gets fairly good and melted. And then I'll kind of back off of that and do it in 20 or 30 second bursts. The only thing is we just don't want to heat that shea butter above 170 degrees because it will get grainy and, and nasty. So this is after one minute in the microwave. And we're going to go ahead and put it in there and do it again. And that's after the second burst. It melts down really nice. We're just going to mix it up there and then we're going to put it back in the microwave. And the trick to this is we want to get our oils here and then our container of water. We want them both heated up to where they're within 10 degrees of each other and we don't want our oils to go over 170. So it can be a little bit of a um, balancing act. <laughs> All right, see how it's melting down really nice now. We do have some big chunks in there. That's that mango butter. It takes it a little longer to melt than everything else. And then it does look a little grainy. That's just all the other stuff. It's not completely melted yet, but it will be after our next burst in the microwave. And if you don't want to do it in the microwave, you don't have to. You can use a double boiler. There's nothing in the world wrong with that. It just um, it takes a little longer to get everything melted down. Okay, that was our last time in the microwave, and you see how everything's really nice and melted. That's what we want. And now we're going to heat that water up, and we want them to be within 10 degrees of each other before we try to mix them together. I think a true body butter doesn't 
it doesn't have water in it and it's it's not emulsified a true body butter as far as i'm concerned is basically just different butters and oils melted and mixed together but um this does make a really nice product it's not quite as greasy on the skin as a traditional body butter Okay, so we have our oils and our water. They're within 10 degrees of each other. Now it's time to mix them together. So I have my stick blender. And what we're gonna do, we are gonna slowly pour the water in and we are gonna stick blend it on low for about three minutes. Make sure everything gets really good and mixed up there. I was making such a mess. Oh my gosh, I don't know if you can see or not. I splashed that all over me and the kitchen. <laughs> it was horrible. Now the time consuming part on this particular recipe is this right here. Waiting for it to cool down and you have to keep stirring it. And you have to go back and forth between stirring it with a spatula and stick blending it until it gets really good and thick. Um, and it takes a while. And we also want to check, now depending on what kind of preservative you use, uh, you have to watch the temperature before you add that in. I use Germal Plus, so I waited until that temperature was below 120 degrees before I added mine in. And I mixed it in with my fragrance oils and then mixed those in all at one time. But, you know, if you're using a preservative other than Germal Plus, then you'll need to check and see what temperature you need to add that in. And you definitely want a preservative in this because it, you know, it does have water in it and it can get icky. <laughs> and this was the body butter that I made for the Blackberry Bubblegum Collection. So that's the fragrance I'm going to be putting in. It's a, a fragrance that I mixed up. And it smells really good. I love it. It's really popular. And I just add that Germal Plus right in there. Give it a quick mix. And you just want to get it really good and blend it up. And you can go ahead, if you're going to color it, you can go ahead and add your micas or whatever you're using now. That is uh, the Michaels, Micah's I used came from Brambleberry, and I didn't use much at all. Uh, I didn't want it to be a really dark color. I just wanted a, a little, I don't know, kind of a purpley tint. Because when I think of blackberry bubble gum, I think of like a purple color. And you get it all good and mixed up. And what we're going to do, we're just going to the next several minutes uh, we're going to spend just going back and forth between stirring it with a spatula and stick blending it and we're going to check the temperature and eventually the closer it gets to room temperature the thicker it's going to get. We want to wait until it gets uh, room temperature before we put it in our jars. Now I got a little, I jumped the gun and I started piping it. It was just a little bit too warm. So it was a little runnier than I wanted it to be. But you can actually see later on in the video, the longer we go, the thicker it gets. And, uh, and I did go ahead and add in the, um, some, some of me putting the label on, the labels on them and the uh, shrink wrap. And then I've got some pictures of the final product at the very end of the video. But do you see how that's thickening up? It's just getting thicker and thicker. Let's 
So this recipe, it actually has distilled water, shea butter, mango butter, emulsifying wax, stearic acid, fragrance oil, arrowroot powder, which I don't think I videoed me putting that in, but it has arrowroot powder, and then it has the, um, the preservative Germol Plus and the micas. Look how creamy that is. I love it. It feels so good, especially when you put it on like your um, your elbows and your knees if you have dry skin on your knees, <laughs> or if you have dry skin. I don't really like it on the palms of my hands, but I don't like any kind of lotion on the palms of my hands. Um, but I love this on like my arms, my, my um, elbows. It feels really good. <laughs> I almost caught them my bobos. That's what we call our elbows. And uh, <laughs> I've gotten a terrible habit of calling them Bobos. <laughs> All right, I think we are just about ready here. We're going to start piping it. Honestly, I should have waited and let it cool down. Probably another 10 degrees would have been perfect. But... I don't have much patience and I just uh, just did it a little too soon. And I suppose if you wanted to, you could take a big spoon and just spoon it into your jars. But that looks like such a horrible mess. I know how I am. I end up, you know, spilling stuff everywhere anyway. I can imagine me trying to spoon this into a jar. So I went ahead and piped it. I just, I know that it, it does waste a little bit of the product, but oh, it's just so much I don't know, easier and cleaner. And it's fun. And piping it a little too warm, it didn't really do anything to the product. It just made it a little runnier. Um, but once it cooled down, even in the jar, it, it'll thicken right up. But now if you do put it in your jars and it's warmer than room temperature, wait until it cools down to room temperature before you put your lids on. And you want to fill your jars all the way to the top so that your product will, will touch the top of your, your lid or your cap to kind of prevent condensation. And I did try to get a different angle here in just a little bit. Do y'all like to watch videos like this? I love to just watch something like this. I don't know why, but it, there's just something about seeing like cakes get decorated or cupcakes get decorated or piping this stuff into jars. I just love it. I love to watch it.
I'm trying to think how many jars I got out of this. <coughs> Excuse me. I didn't make a really big batch. I'm thinking I got maybe six of the four ounce jars and two of the two ounce. I can't remember. See how pretty? <coughs> Gosh, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. And I do, um, I print my labels. I design my labels in Canva. And then I take that design and put it over into the Maestro label designer on uh, online labels. And I'm trying to do a video on that. Just a quick video on how I use a uh, Maestro label designer. So hopefully that'll be done in a couple of days. And I can also do a little more in depth on how I make my designs in Canva. If anybody's interested, just let me know. And this is part of the Blackberry Bubblegum collection. Um, it's available at cherryrockcreations.com right now. Thanks for watching guys. Y'all have a great day.